Okay, so yesterday I had a big bout of uh, crafting, and I got not only one, I got two items finished. Uh, if you remember in bag three, I had a very cute little um, shelf that had right here, it had a uh, kind of an 80s, 1980s little uh, bear on a rocking horse. And while it was cute, it was not my style. And so I redid it. And this is how it came out. I think it's very cute. I kind of whitewashed. See, you could still see the, um, remember the sides were um, a yard, an old yardstick. You can still see them. But I think it's a little more modern. I put some uh, distress ink on it to kind of tie in with the uh, what this is is a napkin that I decoupaged on here and then I add the little wooden hearts at the top that I decoupaged as well and so I've got that I think it came out really cute and that's going to be a gift for a special someone on Saturday but the bigger and more exciting thing that I made is this um, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, uh, this is, uh, part, partially my idea, but partially, um, there is a YouTuber named Alma, A-L-M-A, Stoller, S-T-O-L-L-E-R. And if you've never checked her out, she, uh, try to find her, um, her videos on YouTube. She's, um, really cool she does a lot of recycle crafts she hasn't been on youtube unless she changed uh, her channel in in like probably you know five years but um i remembered her making a video where she took magazine pages and made canvas to paint on she does paint she does painting and all kind of mixed media and in her in her um video she took magazine pages and then uh, put over the top paper and made a canvas. And so I had an idea because, you know, I have uh, that big bag of fabric scraps that I'm trying to use out of bag three. I thought, well, you know, the whole idea is a canvas to paint on. So why can't you use instead of paper over the top, put fabric? So yesterday, that's what I did. So let me explain how I made this. And it came out great. I'm really happy with it. It is literally, um, it's, it's a canvas. And so let me show you how I made this. The first layer is, um, this is what I took. I took four pages like this. Let me get one of these. You know when you have your magazine... Uh, especially those fashion magazines, you'll you have what I used was the front and the back of a magazine, and also these um, fragrance inserts. And the reason why I use the, those and the backs is because they are heavier; they're heavier weight. So what I did was I took four of them and I glued them together. The four pages were one, like one, two, three, four. Uh, I used uh, Lean's Tacky Glue for that because I really wanted to make sure that they stuck together. And what I did was I ran a line of uh, Tacky Glue and then I glued the one sheet to it. I did the same for those two sheets. And then I took a line of Tacky Glue and I, I, I taped the, this two to this two for four. Now, you don't, I, I, wanted to, I wanted to do the idea of making a big canvas. Um, and so you don't have to use four. You could glue two together and make a smaller canvas. You could just do one paper and do this design. But I wanted to show, this is like, I didn't measure it, um, but each sheet was like eight inches. So it's probably like 16 by 16. So if you wanted to make a canvas, uh, to paint on and you're low on funds, this is a way that you could do it. So after you glue the four sheets together, what I did was on the back, this is why this looks a little short. I cut strips of an extra sheet I had, and on the back where the four sheets met, I did another, uh, I, I, I glued a piece, and that was just, uh, I did that to reinforce uh, on the back. Then I went back to the front, and I took my fabric scraps, 
and uh, in this case they were all cotton and uh, you could probably use any type of fabric but me personally in my opinion I would stick to um, a cotton because canvas um, is like a cotton it's a very tight weave um, the canvas that you have on, on uh, the canvases that you buy in the store it's a very tight weave so I took a Mod Podge, I watered it down a little bit, and then I glued. I just covered all the magazine page, and I mean, really, this is that's the most important step. Really saturate the fabric. Put down a layer of Mod Podge, put your fabric down, and then just saturate it. Um, and then what I would do is I would do a section, and then I would kind of get my heat gun, because you'll notice that the paper gets very, um, I mean, it gets very wet, the paper underneath. So, um, heat gun, and then, so I covered the whole thing with fabric, let it, and I, heat gun, and I dried it real good, dried it real good at this point. And then I took, uh, I had thought about first using gesso, but Frankly, I thought, well, just is so expensive, <laughs> and also I wanted to I wanted to try the idea of what if someone doesn't have gesso. So I just literally used an old bottle of acrylic craft paint. Uh, the color was called Old Parchment, and and I, I had it, and it needed to be used. And uh, about uh, it now as a canvas this size, and I put a good quantity. I mean, I sat there with the brush, and I really saturated. Um, get it? Uh, you'll see. I mean, you can see right here where the different, like, I would overlap the different scraps. So when you're painting over that, really get the paint in there. Because I think once I got that paint on there and it dried, I mean, it really looked like a canvas. Um, and so after I did that, I still wanted to reinforce it because I want the idea of what if someone wants to put this on the wall, you know, hanging on the wall. So then after I did that layer with the paint and I let it, and I, I heat gunned it and I completely dried it, then I went to the back and I did this to kind of seal the back. And this, if you notice, it actually is fairly flat. Well, it was more wavy before this step. So when you get to this step, I used Mod Podge full strength. I put it on the back of this, these pages, these book pages, and I put it down on the canvas part on the back. And then I laid it out, and then I took a rag, and I really, I did like that. I really smoothed it down fairly hard. And I, you know, and I just went over and I did this. And once I did this step, it really got flat and, and smoothed out quite a bit. So at that point, I almost may I almost did the video at that point just to show that you literally, with magazine pages, old book pages, fabric scraps, and hey, let's say that you don't have fabric scraps. Um, I bet you probably have an old work shirt um, in your closet that you, maybe you spilled something on and you can't wear anymore. Um, you you don't see the fabric at all by the time you put the paint, so it doesn't matter what the fabric looks like. Cut up an old shirt. You could do that, and this would literally cost you, besides the glue, nothing, no, not nothing at all, and you would have a canvas. But what I ended up doing, I um, I am this is going to be a gift for a special person on Saturday, that I'm going to their birthday party. Uh, I ended up, uh, I always like to give this person flowers, uh, but I thought, you know what, I'll give them flowers that will last a lot longer. So this is napkin decoupage. I had all these napkins, and uh, I, I just love the way it turned out. Uh, I cut them in different places and glued them down, and then after I glued the uh, uh, napkins down, with um, I used Mod Podge for that. After I glued it down, I took um, some Distress Ink to kind of, uh, and I used this color since I wanted it to be very uh, floral and feminine. Uh, this Distress Ink, it's called, um, let's see if I can make it, no, hold on, let me look at it. It's called Abandoned Coral. 
so it's a pretty pink color I use that around the edges and I kind of put a little bit here and there to kind of tie the different um, napkins together and um, then after I did that because I didn't want the you know how the um, distress ink I didn't want it to rub off on people's hands so then I used um, uh, you probably saw in a previous video where I had found this at Michael's it is gloss gel medium this is in the same section with the paints and I got this right here for like two bucks which is really cheap for gel medium um, it is gloss though uh, I, I'm not a real big fan of gloss, uh, but that's what I had. I didn't have any other gel medium. Um, I could have, in all honesty, after I used that, I, I could have just did another layer of Mod Podge and it would have been perfectly fine. Um, but if you have gel medium, you can use that as well. I, I did a whole layer of that gel medium to kind of just completely seal this up. Um, and... Uh, I'm really happy with it, and as you can see, I mean, it is, now, if uh, I thought about this, uh, like if I wanted to make this where it can hang on the wall, I may put a layer on the back of cardboard, and then um, get uh, one of those uh, picture hangers that are like this big, and it's metal with teeth, and then glue it to the back of the cardboard, but for right now, um, I'm just going to give it to her as this. She can uh, prop it against the wall. And anyway, so that came out really good, and I'm really happy with this. I'm going to make some more of these. Um, I had, you know, different ideas after I made it. You could, uh, after you made the big one, you could cut it down. Because uh, it's probably easier to make a, a, the bigger one. You could cut it down. You could make, uh, this would make awesome tags. They would be really stiff and really sturdy. Um, and the best part is, you can't really tell because I put the napkins over it. But uh, let me stress to you, after you get that fabric on there and then you put the paint, it does look like a canvas. Now, I used, like I say, I used pieces, which I like that look. I liked that look of all the little different lines. Um, to me, that gives it a, a mixed media look. But you didn't have to do that. If you had a piece of fabric, let's say um, this probably would be 16 by 16. So this would be like if you had a half a yard piece of fabric that you particularly don't like. You don't like the look of it. Because remember, it doesn't matter what the fabric has on it. You're going to paint over it. Um, um, but, uh, so you could use any fabric, but I will say this before I put the paint on, it was really interesting and neat looking, just all the different fabrics, like a collage. Um, but anyway, so this will be items 16 for the little shelf and item 17. I'm going to call this. Uh, this right here I'm going to call Laura's Almost Free Canvas. I hope some of y'all um, try this yourselves. Uh, if you want, let me know. And I may even try to do a how-to video. Um, if you didn't kind of understand my instructions, please feel free to ask me any questions below. And I will try to help you with it. Um, I, hope, I hope people try this out. Um, but this gives me a lot of new ideas. Uh, you could, I wonder if this could even be used as like um, journal covers. Either cut it down or even fold it. I don't know how the glue would hold up, if it would crack. Um, but maybe a, a piece and then use binder rings. Or uh, cut one piece that would be the bind, the, um, the binding. And two pieces that would be the cover. But anyway... That's for a later date. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Kind of interesting. I went two weeks without a video, and then I went two days with two videos. But uh, thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. I I'm going to try very hard to come up with as many new ideas as I can to share with people. I really appreciate you watching my videos, and have a great day. This is Laura, Retro Redux 1. Thanks. Bye-bye.